Hi everyone, what is up? It's Ballin, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? This fine Wednesday, Wednesday evening where I am. Oh my God. Okay, so you can tell by the title of this video that we're gonna be talking about Club Kids. Club Kids UK are an event organizer who do a lot of drag events and stuff like that. If you don't know, they are putting on a big drag festival this weekend in London and Manchester. There has been so much controversy about this festival over the last sort of day or two on social media from the drag community, drag artists, also people who paid for tickets to go to this festival because it turns out that half the acts that were actually supposed to be booked for these gigs aren't actually going to turn up to these gigs because they didn't get logistical information, flights, anything like that. There are so many artists, a lot of them predominantly the Dragula girls who have had to drop out or pulled out of this festival for the reasons that they didn't know they were going to be doing a group meet and greet and they were concerned about COVID and safety and everything like that as well. But all around, it just sounds like a complete kind of shit show on the part of Club Kids UK, where they've not organised the event properly. I mean, I understand, of course, you know, we all understand it's a pandemic, stuff changes, but it seems that they've kind of given themselves like two weeks, a two week window to finalise everything for this festival before the weekend. Now, a lot of people on social media are complaining because they've not had emails, they've not had a schedule of, you know, stage times and meet and greet times and all that stuff. So basically, people have paid over like £100 because I think the tickets are about £70. So people have paid for the general admission ticket for these events then they've paid another like 30 odd pounds for this Dragula meet and greet stuff so they've spent like over 100 pounds already and that's without hotels or anything like that if they've got to book that you know I know if I've been to these drag events in the past you know I've booked a hotel for the night or something as well then you've got like food drink you know you can easily spend three four hundred pounds in a weekend you know sometimes 500 pounds or more you know if you're going to buy merch and all that stuff as well. So you can spend quite a lot of money going to these drag events. And it seems that the promoters, the bookers just haven't done their job properly. In this instance, I've got quite a few statements from some of the artists who were booked to be performing at this festival and doing meet and greets and stuff. So we're going to get into all that right now. The first I heard of any of this was Bitch put in saying that they'd not been sent a contract, flights, logistical information, all of that stuff on Twitter. They said that they had actually reached out, their team had reached out to the event promoters to try and sort things out and not heard anything back, which is really kind of piss poor if you're an event organisation and you're not getting back to your performers performing at your events when they're asking, hey, what's going on with our flights, logistics, all of that, travel between London and Manchester, all of that stuff. They weren't getting back to the artists and that was what the problem was. And that's why now a lot of the Dragula girls have had to pull out of the event from my understanding. So the thing that's really got people angry here, understandably, is the fact that Club Kids have continued to sell tickets for both the Dragula meet and greet and the event, all while not having the Dragula acts confirmed and other UK artists as well, from my understanding, from what I've seen on social media, also weren't confirmed. So it sounds like it's been a real fucking mess. Like they've not sorted out travel, accommodation between London and Manchester travel. They've not sorted out anything for their artists maybe they were waiting to see what would happen with covid regulations and stuff in the us i don't know but the fact that they left it so late to not you know take those meet and greet tickets off sale and everything is what's pissed people off now you've got a lot of people coming out on twitter saying oh my god well we want refunds and all of this because obviously they're upset they're not getting what they paid for. But I think it's really bad of Club Kids to have continued to sell these tickets for the Dragula meet and greet when they didn't even have all of those artists confirmed. 
yet you've got people paying for it expecting that they're going to turn up and be able to go to a Dragula group meet and greet no not gonna happen as well as bitch pudding there's also abora van der von Ard, there is also erica clash they've all put out statements on their social media saying why they won't be attending the event similar words to bitch pudding basically i'm going to pop the screenshots of the statements in here for you guys so they've been putting up statements saying that they're not attending the event explaining why all that jazz but also some uk artists have now started to pull out of the event as well i saw this from crayola queen so crayola put out this massive long statement on twitter it looks as though there's been a little bit of shade and a little bit of beef between crayola and the club kids promoters or organizers it is messy very very messy so there's another one pulled out of the festival you also had ursula major who is of course another dragula artist also pulled out for the same reasons as the other dragula girls this situation is messy it is like i don't know what they were thinking trying to organize a big international drag festival during a pandemic anyway that is a little bit like you know i mean yeah i know we're not in lockdown right now here in the uk in london we're not in lockdown the rules have been relaxed but is it really safe still to have these huge gatherings i don't know i don't know i mean obviously you know all of the drag artists that have been out of work during the pandemic everyone wants to work of course you do you know what are you going to do everybody wants to work everybody needs to work but i just think it's really shady boots of these promoters to not update their customers with information to mislead their customers and also the queens so they've misled artists they've misled fans continuing to sell these tickets for an event that they didn't even know was going to happen properly it's like damn you know wow you know it's shady it is whoa, shady 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 fucking shady that is what it is it's like how can you take people's money for an event when you don't have the acts confirmed and their transport confirmed you know the queens deserve better treatment the artists you know whoever it is whether it's kings queens which by the way there aren't many kings on that drag fest lineup i had a look at it and i was like it's mainly all queens you know how are you going to have a drag festival huge drag festival in london and manchester and you're going to put like two kings on the lineup for the whole entire weekend it's like you know kings are a huge part of the drag community but they kind of get pushed aside and ignored you know oh because it's not as popular as the drag race girls but surely it would be better to show people you know other types of drag than just the rue girls surely like it would be much better you know to get a more diverse cast you know surely people who don't normally get put on those big stages with the big names you know reach out to smaller artists reach out to kings you know because these people are all doing things in the queer community in london or wherever they live you know they're all putting on shows all of this stuff but yet you've got a big event organization like club kids fucking it up if you're someone who does have tickets for the festival this weekend there is still a lot of great artists who are going to be appearing you've got todrick hall headlining and of course you've got aja now aja had a few words on ig live earlier on today anyways bitch big or small if my waist was a 30 or a 40 or a 50 i would still stomp the yard on these girls if my waist was a dealing with world hunger, if my waist was a 60 and I could solve world hunger if I wanted to, bitch, I would still stomp the yard on these girls. I would still. And these bitches could get it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Aoki said, Asha, your mouth is vicious. Ah! Did she, uh, did she? Let me tell you something. Bitches be like, does Aja do drag? And I'd be like, yes, girl, I do. I drag the girls. 
I drag the girls. I drag the girls. I drag the girls. See, without Asha, the girls would not be dragged. Because I drag the girls. Bitch, it's not a drag fest unless Asha comes because I came to drag the girls. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me stop because somebody's going to clip that and be like, wow, I'm just suffering delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Girl, people take me so seriously and I just be like, y'all stupid. They'd be so emotional. They'd be like, oh my God, Asha called us broke. She said she would fuck us up if we said shit to her in real life. And I'd just be there like, well, I mean, bitch, if somebody came up to you and said some nasty shit, wouldn't you fucking punch them? Yes. Team. <sighs> Well, yes, I'm going to be in London and Manchester. And that was the point of this fucking live. Um, that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah. But it's not all doom and gloom. I mean, yeah, it's really shitty of the promoters, club kids, with what they've done, with selling these meet and greet tickets and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really shady. But if you are going to the event... Loris from Dragula is still confirmed. Club Kids put out like a finalised lineup of who's going to be appearing at the event this weekend. They forgot Loris' name off the flyer, but Loris has confirmation that, yep, yeah, they're booked. They've got their flights. They've got everything. Loris is going to be there. Loris is the only Dragula performer who is going to be there. I don't know what's going to happen with the Dragula meet and greet. I've seen people asking all over social media on Twitter and on IG what's going to happen because the Dragula meet and greet was a group thing. So I think it was like £30 for a ticket for that. But the only one who's going is Loris, not all the others. So I don't know if people who bought the Dragula meet and greets are going to be refunded at all. Cub Kids put out a statement saying, contact Ellie, this person, whatever. Oh, you know, and we'll refund people who bought tickets for people to meet and greet who are now not appearing. But they didn't say anything about the Dragula group meet and greet. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this little video right here, this little rant. Sorry, it's been a little bit ranty, but I'm going to go and move on. So I will say take care, stay safe, stay well. If you go to the event this weekend, have fun, but do stay safe because I've seen people asking about COVID tests too. Girl, we all know Rona has got people still with a new Delta variant and everything. So just be careful if you do go. Love you guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.